Hi guys, 51 Foxy. This is a video response to Forest Preppers, uh, 100 sub giveaway. Well done, mate. Cracking, cracking uh, uh, giveaway this is. Uh, and you wanted to know what coats that you use or you like for your bushcraft come camping, come survival, outdoorsy stuff. Well, I don't just use one coat. Now, Call me sentimental, but this is the oldest, scruffiest coat you can ever see in your life. But this is the one that I use most. And this is just a little padded jacket thing. And it's in springtime or whatever. It's, it's summertime, I use it to go up to your chickens, up to my allotment or whatever in. And uh, to bazza in, as you see me in videos with this on at bazza. In fact, before I put this on, I'll show you the other one first. The one that I would use if it's going to be cold is this one and this is the deer hunter deer hunter fleece this is a cracking coat this it's a, it's, I've had it must have had it three year and it's still like brand new deer hunter is awesome stuff I love deer hunter stuff I've got a camouflaged uh, jacket white I have for shooting it from deer hunter that's same uh, brilliant stuff and now we're losing a little bit of weight, everything fits me perfect. So that's what I use underneath if it's going to be cold. That one. Then, I will put this one over the top. It's supposed to layer up guys, it's better off to layer up than having one big thick coat unless you have a rab or I can afford a rab, I can't afford a rab or all that. These big down jackets. That one was over the top, like that. And then you're thinking to yourself, ah, but if it rains, then what? Then, this comes out. This is a Dutch Army Gore-Tex coat. Absolutely out of this world. Had this five years, bought it from an army stores near where I live. And I said to the chap, if it fits me, I'll have it. Well, it was all over three coats. Must be a big lads in this army, what they're doing Dutch. I think it might be Swiss or Dutch, I think it doesn't. This is the one if it chucks it down in rain. Or if it's snowing, blowing, or whatever. This is being I've had this when I've been bush beating through all bad rain and rain all day, blowing and a gale, and it's never ever let a drop of water through. I've never reproofed it. Or anything, and this comes right up to the top. To show you, that's it. That goes up to there. And it all press studs in, keep rain out, baffle on it, and you've got your hood. Only thing I find with it, hood's a bit big. Obviously, it's made for a army helmet underneath. But what I find it is, what I do in mine my baseball cap on and then a little tip for you if I can find it in these pockets might sound daft I've got a massive big paper clip and I clip this hood to the front peak of my baseball cap so when you turn it up like that it, it don't fall in front of your eyes because if you have it down it just falls in front of your eyes like that but obviously it's made for uh, having a, uh, a helmet on but that's what I do, but big paper clip in it and fasten that with peak of my cap to this so it's always behind you but that's my VR to Forest Preppers 100 sub giveaway and what a cracking prize that is mate what a cracking prize, go give him a sub guys uh, really 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 nice chap he is smashing channel up and coming uh, bloody hell, got a sweater. Absolutely great. So, there are my three coats, not just wire three, which will go all go into Bazza with me tomorrow, all lot. But they are uh, just fantastic, and I've got a sweater on, I've read up there. But uh, absolutely brilliant. So, that's like I said, that's my VR to Forest Preppers 100 sub giveaway. Uh, Cracking prize mate, absolutely cracking prize. 
So, well done for that, and I hope it's uh, okay for an entry. Right, guys, next video you'll see now is Baza, uh, there tomorrow. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, come back Tuesday. Okay, then, guys, thanks for looking. Bye for now.